It gives me immense pleasure this morning to welcome you all to this World Environmental Day 2023. Today, the Angami Youth Organization, in collaboration with the School Education Department, Government of Nagaland, we are celebrating this World Environmental Day with a theme, Go Green, Break Clean. At this time of gathering, may our hearts be close, drawn closer to you and help us to seek your purpose in our lives. Lord, may we continue to be reminded that whatever we do here today, all that we accomplish is for the pursuit of truth, for the greater glory of you, and for the service of humanity. The Angami Youth Organization in particular, in the year 2010, that was during Sir Pilevi, adopted a resolution that we will protect our environment and our wildlife. Till today, the Angami Youth Organization had requested and kept the principle of protecting our environment and wildlife from 2010 and every village through the youth organization has been implementing the, resol the resolution that was passed. The present tenor of the Angami Youth Organization, we have come up with a humble campaign seeking the support of the entire community on the theme, a cleaner and vibrant Kohima. We plan to reach out to every school going kid that let us all promote and inculcate the good habits of cleanliness and hygiene. Today, the 5th of June, which is the World Environment Day, we are honored to be kicking off our campaign through the presence of our Honorable Advisor, Dr. Kekre Humet. In your, at home. Our future will depend on how we care about the world, how we really protect our world, starting with this precious day. I thank the initiatives of the Angami Youth Organization led by its president, it is important that every locality takes care of its own problems, loves its own local area so that we contribute to the footprints, the carbon footprints globally. So I thank the students of GPS QMA C, the GMS QMA A, the GMC PESAMA, the Central Police Reserve School PESAMA, the St. Paul School PESAMA, Students, my dear students, I hope you continue to cherish, you continue to do good things. Unless the younger generation initiate all these things, the care of the world. You see, we have a lot of things to do, we have a lot of concern to be done, but the younger generation will look forward to you. From Kohima district, we have the GHS QMA, which is also the lighthouse. That is the identified house to represent the district. So the Hundred years ago, with the turn of what do we call the 20th century, the world has become warmer by 1.1 degrees Celsius. All over the world, people are concerned. Not only people, the governments are concerned. The rich countries are with their carbon footprints, polluting the world, their lifestyles, the kind of pollution they are creating. So it is not something which uh, we need to... Uh, Blame one or the other. So all countries of the world, they come together. So the 2015 United Nations Framework on Climate Change, they agreed that if we do not change the temperature growth all over the world. So they decided that temperature all over the world should not cross 2 degrees Celsius by 2050. 
When climate change, you can feel it. So many things are happening. The tsunami, suddenly there are rains. Uh, you can feel the heat. It is better to sit under the tree rather than be out here in the sun. You can feel all these changes. We can see that climate change is for real. You can see that the South Pole, the North Pole, the ice is melting. You saw, we saw the corona. What is the corona? Corona is another form of cold. Why is it happening? It is happening because of climate change. New diseases are mutating. Doctors, biotechnology, biomedicine, we are not able to comprehend what exactly is happening because diseases, pests, new forms of diseases are mutating with climate change and we are unable to comprehend all this. So our knowledge of what is happening is also at its limits. So to paint a picture, we may feel that we are heading for a doomsday, which is true in one way, but we also need to look at the brighter side. In Nagaland, we have about 4 lakh students covering pre-primary till higher secondary. 1.5 lakh students in government schools, about 2.5 lakh students in government uh, private schools. Every day, many of your parents who care for you, they give you pocket money. What do you do? You go to the shop, you buy needy things like uh, sweets, you buy uh, a piece of uh, sweet candy, and out of that, it is plastic wrapping. So every day, every day you go to school, you are contributing about four into two, minimum eight lakh pieces of plastic wrappings, and it is all been thrown here and there. So you can understand that the kind of pollution we are creating. This year, we are celebrating World Environmental Day. It was initiated by the United Nations uh, Environmental Program in 1974. This year, globally, the theme is Beat Plastic Pollution. We know that plastic pollutes everything. We know that the flow of what we call the plastics which are melting, the plastics which are degenerating, it takes a long time. But they enter the food chain, it enters the earth, the soil, it enters the, what do we call, uh, marine ecology, it enters the fish. And all this comes back to us in the form of food chain. So all these things we know that it is not just protecting our earth with the tree and the beautiful things, but it is also entering into our food chain, thereby we have a lot of diseases. The chemical invention of our stomach, you see, with fast food. Earlier, our grandparents we used to have only slow food. Today, we have fast food entering. The market system has made sure that we have fast food so we cannot stop it. All this is altering our body system. A lot of illnesses, a lot of diseases are happening. So globally, this year, we are celebrating the world with big plastic pollution. I'm very happy that Angami Youth Organization, along with the school education, department as well as the public. People's participation is what we do. We cannot do things on our own. So go green, breathe clean is the theme. If we do not act locally, we cannot think globally. A very hearty congratulations to everyone present here. You all have become a noble guardian of this beautiful nature and our congregation here is definitely going to usher to a healthy and happy environment. The officials of the school education department, the Samagra Siksha Nagaland, forest department, tourism department, and students from various schools and colleges including the teacher, teaching faculty present here. I'll say your new experience. Huh? I'm the, the son of the soil, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> and the dust we will all return also, yeah? It's a new experience, experience. Hello, it's a
Yes, yes, sir. Yeah. May the tree grow, bloom, and bear fruit for thousand generations to come. Yes. Next year, para. Now, my friend, I will succeed! 